you just saw on your screen. Um, maybe they're just waiting for something. Okay, never mind. I won't even bring it up. Okay. <laughs> all right. We've got some all chat going here that it seems like everything is going to go smooth. Okay. You can see XU's nowhere nearby. He's on the other side of the map. They also have the ward down in the brush next to the enemy chicken pit. Back to down to the tier one turret, but it is a four man move coming out from Dignitas. Yawn should be your target here with the start. Dove comes over the wall. The damage goes through and it's first blood. Back to so Dove. You got your bottom lane with control to help you do it. Not really a big of a deal as, uh oh, Gorge J gets rooted up there. Nice little bit of free damage for the Dignitas yeah, bot. Life and death on bottom side pertains to running away. Yep, it's looking more like death now as Yawn is caught in a bad spot. Tomo and Isles going in looking for him here. Tomo does end up having to spend the Feather Storm to guarantee the, the T1 Gen G game. Um, very recently, if you have Canyon Whoa. rushing it, then everybody's gonna do it. APA? APA shows up top side to guarantee top they get- Top side, they do kill the Gnar. Uh, it's gonna give some turret plate money. Obviously, it's gonna cost them dragon- the flash for the outplay. So they're just gonna have to resign themselves to giving up. Ooh. You can see the attempt at the shattering strike there from XU to knock APA off of the Weaver's wall, but he ain't gonna find him here. Isles wants the quickness, but he doesn't connect on anybody, and now Dignitas, they have to disengage. Here comes your Cyclone. There's a Wukong ulti you wanted as Isles needs to get back over the wall, flashing out of the Herald pit as Dignitas do not get what they wanted there. Even well, it's probably, the, probably those good things with the power. Here we go, though. Rift Herald in. Charge gonna be able to one-shot this tower. Bang! And then X, you can just jump right back out anyway. What puts the pressure on TL for the rest of the game. But now it's X, you looking for the engage. Magnet Storm finds Core JJ. A lot of burst, but it ain't enough to kill him here at the very start just yet. Now Impact's gonna be your focus. Meanwhile, on the other side, it's Isles and Dove trying to fight the rest of Team Liquid. Impact is still alive somehow. He gets himself away, but Core JJ drops first. Yawn drops second. Dove zoning out. APA completely zoned out while the rest of Dignitas cleaned up the kills. Massive from them. They just. Decimate on turrets, man. There's two kinds of turrets, yeah. a living one or a dead one. Exactly. And that's <laughs> still a living one. You're either dead or alive. Binary status for turrets. You don't have the Aurelian Soul Smolder combo like in their game yesterday. You can't just dig in your heels, try to defend, and be like, don't worry, we're going to stack up. We're going to get there. These two together can instantly say, right here, right now, fight. Yeah, you have to keep your carries separate. Right now, Dignitas messing around. Okay, Core JJ is going to be your target as the Magnet Storm erupts. Umpty dropping the Cyclone, trying to stop the engage as Isles uses the quickness. They're going to lock down Impact here with the very start as X use first to drop. Isles and the rest of Dignitas. They still have control over the bot side river. Magnet Storm for XU, ready to go once more. APA trying to get away. XU looks for him, but there's your seismic shove. Umpty has to disengage back over the wall, but once more it's XU here in the front, trying to stay alive. Core JJ and everybody else from TL gonna be locked up for the quickness as XU's first to drop. Team Liquid still staying alive for now as Dove is about to drop here from the stasis. He got him back in the back, keeping everybody else occupied. He just might die, he just <laughs> might not. Impact walks away. They won't find him here with the feathers just yet. He's still got to try to get the hell out of town. Town is very dangerous. He's going into he goes town. The wall. He He's going to use the teleport. He's going to get away once again. Back to back games. Team Liquid flipped in the early game, but the mid game, they know how to navigate. It seems here in our final. Start to see some magic resist now picked up as well. Weaver's wall used to get Team Liquid extra firing time on the tier one turret, but now Isles is ready to go and he finds a quickness on multiple targets, followed up by the Magnet Storm. Dignitas need to do some more damage. The health bars on TL are largely unaffected. Dove has to try to get back away as Umpty's still spinning around, staying alive. The first kill comes through and it's APA dead in the dirt. A shutdown comes back over to Yawn as Rich falls, but Dignitas are winning the fight. Tomo goes forward and Umpty has to gonna be Baron for sure. Nicely done from Dig. They only lose Rich. They get three, almost four. Umpty just barely. Who's got all the firepower? The guy with the cannons. Three, zero, and four. 100% kill participation for Tomo Zaya as well, as they knock down the tier as two. Dub tries to run interference and keep APA away. Drake down to 6K, down to 4K. Dig just want to burn it. Team Liquid's trying to come in, but there it is, Infernal Soul. But Team Liquid doesn't want to take the fight. They know they're down 3,000 gold. They know they don't have the soul. Umpty popping the clone, just trying to create some space again. Dignitas do not have the Narbar charged up, but here comes a Magnet Storm into the quickness. Core JJ is going to be here on the very front as Impact is also reinforced with the shield. Umpty's trying to fight, but Dove the Wall has damage. Umpty has to try to get away as he's burning and burning and burning to the Leandres. They're not going to find him just yet, but they already found Yawn. It's a one 
for nothing, a two for nothing, a three for nothing. Dignitas are crushing Team Liquid. Yes, they are. Two layered engage. Yawn flashed away from the rail, but guess what? After they make the return about 10 seconds later, Rich is able to get onto him with the Meganar, immediately take down the Aphelios and Dignitas. They're going to destroy the base at this point. Bottom side pushing hard. At least um, they died. They, oh, oh, well, he, they're going to win the game then. Yeah, um, Umpty just died back in mid lane. He is dead. Dignitas now with a 5v1. Yawn and Core JJ both about to respawn here in under 10 seconds. Impact's going to be back in 15. APA in a 1v5 trying to get away as Rich hits Whoa. him with the boulder over the top of the head. Stasis for APA to survive the dive from Dove. They turn it around. They take out Dude. the Dignitas. This TL team does not want to rush at you, especially since they don't have flashes for either carry. APA, big cooldown on his flash. Yon's is coming up kind of soon, so maybe they wait for Yon's flash and hope for a miracle. Well, Dove took a big chunk over the wall there. With your mid laner down to half HP, I don't think Dignitas really wants to commit to a full fight here just yet, but they are going to find Umpty's clone. Not really a whole lot. Got TP him. now for Dove. He's ready to go. I think Dignitas are going to look for the fight. Core JJ tries to initiate, but he takes a lot of bursts here immediately. Umpty is already down before we can contribute much of anything at all. However, he's traded back for Riles. It's already a triple kill for Tomo. Dignitas just won the game. Penta! Penta kill for Tomo! Beautifully done. It's big dig here in the Super Week to end Team Liquid's attempt of having that 3-0 week. They're going to stop them in their tracks. They're going to march it into the Nexus. And Dignitas are going to tie them in the standings and take Team Liquid down 34 minutes in. Oh, to play an AD carry with a good front line? 